channel, Mika Mecca. I am your host, Mecca. So, um, today is going to actually be my extra closet tour, um, breakdown video for you guys. So, if you guys have watched my last video, you will know that I finally revealed my closet, my amazing closet tour. You guys need to go check that out. I will leave the link up here, and it will be down below in the description. And, of course, you guys can just go to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe on your way there. Um, you guys like my flower pattern today? I'm so sorry for like abandoning you guys after my closet tour. Um, it's been over a week since I filmed that, and um, I've just been super busy. School starts tomorrow. Um, I've been working. I have to redecorate my room. So you guys will also be going with me on tour to my room in a few weeks. Um, I'm gonna try to finish my room for maybe two weeks in because I do have work and I do have school now, so I don't really have a lot of time to like decorate and paint and things like that, but I am gonna go try to buy all the supplies today, and then hopefully over the next two weeks I can finish my room. It's really simple, and it's probably gonna be a lot less expensive than my closet. I splurged on my closet because it was something I really wanted. It was gonna be my own safe space, and it's such a beautiful place, I could not not spend money. <laughs> so um, yeah, today we're gonna be going through my closet. I'm just gonna take you guys um, around, and I told you guys in my closet tour video that we would be actually doing like a close up, like I'll tell you guys how much everything costs, and then of course everything will be left in the description box. So, um, spoiler alert, I got everything in my closet for under a thousand dollars, which to me is not cheap. I am a thrift store junkie, if you guys do know that, so a lot of my clothes have come from the thrift store, a lot of my things have come from the thrift store, but for some reason, I did not want to be cheap with my closet. I really wanted a quality closet, so I did go to Ikea, I did go to brand name stores, and I did pick up this stuff. So if your closet is worth it to you guys, and if you guys are really going to invest in your closet, I don't recommend going the cheap way. I recommend just getting quality things. So I'm going to take you guys around my closet, and we're going to see how I put everything together. I'm going to show you guys how much everything costs. And I think, like, the everything pretty much under here was, like, $9.45 or something like that. And mind you, a lot of this stuff is extra stuff. A lot of this stuff is, like, fan merch, jewelry displays, things like that. So I'm not going to really add those up. I'm just going to tell you guys my essentials, and then you guys can decide for yourselves if you want to buy it or not. And if you guys want to see my whole closet tour, make sure you guys check out my last video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mwah! Okay, first up is going to be my jewelry display. So, um, I can't really tell you guys how much every piece of jewelry costs. This was the most expensive. This was actually $35, but my aunt bought that for me. Um, these command hook strips are about 5 or $6 at Walmart, and they're, they make a really nice jewelry display, and I got all of this from, like, jewelry shops and things like that. They were really inexpensive. All of them were about around 5 to $10. So yeah, that's my jewelry display. So I'm actually going to show you guys my wardrobes first because those are the big things. So this big wardrobe, um, if you guys recall, I did get this on sale. Here's the mirror. I got this on sale at Ikea for $150. So everything in it, it's a three-door wardrobe. And it, ooh, excuse my messy clothes. <laughs> I did not prepare for this video. Everything in here, my hand goes backwards and everything. It comes with um, the hanging rod and then two shelves at the bottom. Sorry for the mess down there. Two shelves at the bottom and then all these shelves over here. So a lot of this stuff is like inexpensive stuff. You guys can buy these umbrellas for actually maybe around $20 if that um, my towels are being washed today, so I get those for like three to five dollars. Um, on my tank tops, every piece of clothing I have comes from the thrift store, really. So, um, yeah, I don't really have to tell you guys the price, just go to your thrift store. This is a bunch of jumbled mess, this is something you can get anywhere. It's extension cords and irons and things like that, lint brush. Um, these hangers, actually, I wanted to tell you guys about my hangers. I found them first at Bed Bath & Beyond for $50 for a pack of... 30 I believe, but then I found them at Walmart for 60, 60 hangers and a $30 pack. So I got those, I returned those, and I got these, and these were actually not black, and I did not want black. And then this scale I got from Target, and it was maybe $10, so yeah, that's that. And then let's go up here on the top of my wardrobe. It is the storage bins I have up here, and these were maybe $6 each. I have a total of six of them in here so yeah just six dollars each you can get them from Walmart I think I got them from Target um, okay so there's me of course filming today 
Okay, so my laundry basket is full today. Um, I got this actually for less than ten dollars at Walmart, so it's not that expensive. And then, as you guys know, I'm gonna turn the lighting down. That is my curtain. I have two of these same curtains. Those were bought on Amazon, and they were just about ten dollars each. I'm gonna maybe say twenty-five for the both of them. These are how the curtains look. They're ruffled. They're beautiful. Like. They let in a lot of light, which kind of bothers me when I film, but they look gorgeous otherwise, so it makes my room look really light and airy. Well, my closet, actually, it's not my room. <laughs> but yeah, these are ruffled curtains. They're a little wrinkled, um, so you might have to iron them when you get them out of the package. Okay, so let's go up here. This flower vase I actually got from the dollar store. So it was a vase, and then there was rocks, and then there was flowers. So that cost maybe about $4 all in. Um, this is my lac shelf that I made myself. So it cost me pretty much around $20 for the screws, the pieces of wood, and the whole wood in the backboard. I spent a lot of time and a lot of paint on this. So if you guys really want to do it yourself, it's well worth it because Ikea lac shelves are over $100. And then this is just some fan merch I actually got, guys. You guys really don't have to buy these things, so this is what's driving my closet cost up. I paid $15 for this Monster X water bottle. $15 for the hat and $25 for that phone case that I don't use really um, Then we have this jewelry display. I actually got this from um, a store called Tuesday morning uh, And it was seven dollars give or take a few cents and then all my jewelry was like five to ten dollars Nothing expensive and then this one my dad got from Chalet, so I have no idea how much that was um, And then back here we have my signed Dabbit album. I actually only paid ten dollars for this and then I got his autograph for free, of course, and then I never paid anything for this photo card he gave me. Um, yeah, that's my cell phone. So that's my list, my notebook, ignore my notebook. So this is my display for all my headpieces. Um, this display it was at, bought at, where did I buy this at? Michael's. I bought this at Michael's, and it was about $8. And then I bought this at Michael's, and this was like $7, and I got like three of them. And then all this is like from costume stores, jewelry stores, and those were like five to ten dollars. And then down here on the last shelf is my lovely phone case, and I actually bought that for twenty-five dollars. Okay, so my curtain again. So we're gonna go over here. Oh wait, down here is my rug. I got this twenty-five to thirty dollars from Walmart. Um, then there's a bunch of gift bags. I didn't pay anything for those because I had my wedding, so everybody gave me a whole bunch of gifts. Um, to hang up my hijabs. My hijabs I bought at thrift stores and flea markets and things like that and they're always five to ten dollars um, and then I hang them up. And these shower curtain rods which of course you get a pack of ten for like a dollar. And then I have my box sneakers down there. They're out of the box right now but those were like thirty dollars. They're the most expensive shoes I've ever bought. <laughs> and that's telling you guys something because that's how stingy I am with my money. I bought thirty dollar pair of sneakers and immediately regretted it. But I wear them everywhere, so it's okay. And then these are a pair of boots. I actually um, had... Wait, look, look at that autofocus, man. It's gorgeous. But yeah, that's a pair of boots. I bought two winters ago, and I got them from the thrift store. And they were like $10, maybe? So yeah, I'm just like extra stuff. So this is my mirror. I have two full-length mirrors, skinny mirrors on my wall. Um, those were about $6 at Walmart each. So... They're always $6, I don't think they're going to change, so I recommend you guys going to pick them up because they're really inexpensive and then I just command strip them to the wall so there's no damage and I can easily pull them off and put them back somewhere. So on this one, of course, we have my storage bins and then we have my, oops, sorry, lotion collection, my perfume collection. Um, those are really inexpensive. I got um, these from Bath and Body Works, of course, and these are pretty much from Bath and Body Works too, so it can range, you know, the prices range. Most of them are gifts though. I don't really go out and buy lotion like that. And then of course my Chile cup, I have no idea how much that costs. My dad bought that. And then my collection of bows, I actually get these for like a dollar at the flea market, so those cost me nothing. So let's talk about these wardrobe casings. These were all bought from Ikea, just like this one, except these were bought on my second trip. So I was a bit smarter on my second trip because I regret buying this. Because this is only able to fit on this wall. So it's too big to go on the inside of my closet over there. And it's also too big to move over here because we have these little heater studs coming out of the wall. 
so there's not enough room for this to fit over here. So my desk was originally supposed to be over here so that I could film my videos away from the wall but still with all the light, but it didn't work out that way because I went to Ikea without a plan so I was young and frivolous then. So I spent $150 on that. It was a pretty good deal, of course, still, but I would much rather have spent money on another one of these and then have my desk over there. I have three 29-inch wardrobe casings, and then I have one 39-inch one back here. I'm going to get another one over here. I'm going to move my desk, probably, or something. I don't know. This is my hair desk, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, so I bought four of the wardrobe casings all above so the smaller ones the 29 inch ones were $60 they didn't come with any of the shelves it's a build-it-yourself thing so I do recommend you guys when you go to Ikea don't buy the ones that are already put together it's a lot cheaper to buy it in individual pieces so I bought one two three of these for $60 each and then this one over here was like 79 or $89 because it's a little bit bigger so this is $180 just the wardrobe cases not the shelves and everything so this is $180, and then I think this is $100, well this is $70, $130 altogether. So for all four of these wardrobe casings. Then I put my add-ons. So I actually only bought this, which is not really supposed to be in this one, secret. These hanging shell, I mean these hanging rods are actually for the ones that are 22 inches deep. So um, if you guys didn't know, my wardrobes are 13 and a half inches deep. And they don't come out on the floor as much, so I'll show you guys how much space they take up. That's how much space I wanted them to take up, because I want to have room for my rug and room for me to walk. If they were 22 inches, they'd be like out here, and that takes up more than half my floor. So, I didn't know that they didn't have hang rods that were like this for the 13 and a half inch. So that's why when you guys see my clothes, they're like half out of the wardrobe. And it's just, it's kind of annoying, but I would not pay money for wider ones when this pretty much works. It doesn't annoy me that much. It did in the beginning, but now it's just like, whatever. I don't care if they hang out over the wardrobe. It still looks nice. Okay, so if you guys are cheap like me, I do recommend getting two hanging rods, which is what I got. Those were $10 each. So that's $20. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> So it's $20. So all in all, this whole shelf cost me $70. I put it together myself. Um, it wasn't a lot of work, guys. They're really easy. It's really easy to follow instructions. Or you can look up on YouTube, but the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. So this cost me $70. This one actually cost me a little bit more because I have one, two, three, four shelves, and then I have a drawer. So the shelves were $10 each, so it's another $40 in this, that's $100, and then I bought this $30 drawer, and that is $130 on this shelf alone. So that, yeah, that's how much I spent at Ikea, and then of course this one is the same as the other one because both of them only have hanging rods. So it works pretty well for me, it's, so that's 70 this is 70 and this is 130 So it was like $270 maybe, give or take, I don't know, I'm not really adding up math right now. So it's not that expensive to get wardrobe casings, and then of course this one was like, I think $80, and then an extra hanging rod was $90. So they weren't that expensive, but I'm glad I invested in it. Another option is to actually use bookshelves from like Walmart or something, and then put shelves in there, but honestly, I was gonna go that way, but that was so cheap looking, and I don't know, I just wanted something sturdy, I heard that Walmart bookshelves weren't sturdy. I really wanted something like quality, like actual really good quality. So I'm really glad I spend the money. I regret it sometimes, but I'm really glad I spent the money to make my closet look great. A hanger is out of place and that is so annoying. Sorry guys, I obviously wasn't ready to film this video. Um, but yeah, the purses up there I bought from like thrift stores and like Marshalls and stuff. None of them cost over $35. And then of course all of my gift bags. So. This is actually my shoe display. Um, I didn't spend any money on this actually. Um, my mother-in-law had it in the house already, so I actually just painted it white. So I do recommend you guys recycling furniture you see. Um, these are my wedding shoes actually, if you guys didn't see my closet tour video, I actually explained that these were like my wedding shoes, they're gorgeous. Um, but yeah, those cost me like $60 and I didn't buy them so that doesn't count. <laughs> so that's my parasol on the floor. I bought it. Oh, I actually won it at Six Flags, so 
It only cost me like five dollars to play the game. I already told you guys about this, and these are all my dresses. These were all bought from the thrift store as well, except maybe like two of them. This one was probably bought from Marshalls, but I spent not even over thirty-five dollars for all of these nice things. And then this skirt, I actually made this. So if you guys want custom clothing, my clothing stuff will be coming out soon. This is a nice little circle skirt I made. And it has the waistband. I don't wear it because it's too small for me. <laughs> okay, and so this is the last part. I'm gonna show you guys. This is actually my chair. I bought this for $40 at on eBay, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna buy another one for my bedroom. Excuse my dirty mirror, but this is my mirror. That's $20 on the walmart.com site. And then of course, this is my desk. This is what my desk looks like. I think it was $80. I forgot where I bought it from. Either Amazon, eBay, somewhere, or Walmart. I bought it somewhere. But, okay. yo, desks are really expensive. So, make sure you guys do your research. Um, yeah, all my hair products are in here. All my hair products are up here. I think this is actually going to be my... I was originally going to move this desk into my room. So I wouldn't have to do my hair in the closet. But because I'm starting school, I think I'm just going to buy a writing desk. And then... I'm gonna leave this in here and then have another desk in my room which is kind of overkill but my writing desk is only gonna be like $30 or $40 at Walmart so money well spent and then I'm gonna buy another mirror and that's where I'm gonna film my videos for you guys so yeah that's pretty much it guys I love my closet guys so I do say invest money if you want to I will see you guys again soon um, I'm probably gonna be doing a room makeover video so stay tuned for that and I will see you guys later